So I decided to bring the power from underground. Uh, if you even know where I am, <laughs> that is. I need a bunch of chain drives. Do I have them? Yes, I do. I, I don't need a bunch. I just need a few like that. And... Oh, not there. And now I need some shafts. And do I have a inside casing? I do. So if I just use some shafts like this and go all the way there, then up the power and ah. I am struggling and as you can see I have it right there the the thing with the thing <laughs> so I got it over there and now it should be functional when I I decided to bring the power right here oh, it's better to show it when it's done <laughs> I, I'm not good at explaining things so yeah, it is coming down there, then up, through this little thing here, and consider it done. And now it is all done, as you can see, or maybe you cannot see, because it is uh, underground over here, the line of the power, so up there and into that, into the thing. I'm dying. Uh, so yeah, just a gearbox and a cogwheel until the mechanical crafter. It's it is going very slow. 16 S U stress units, but it will do the job whenever I need it. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna use it constantly. It just uh, now it's in better position, I think. Also, I have some lag on this area. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the drawers or these blocks that I put down here. But why only on this area right here? I don't know. It could be because of the drawers. But I haven't, I haven't had any issues with the drawers before. It's really bad. Okay. Anyway, uh, it's only when I record though. <laughs> uh, so now that's good. Ah, it it is okay. It is a bit ugly looking. It it obscures the the area over here. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, so yeah, that's good. Now I I only have a bunch of stuff in my pockets that I need to empty and. These two need a uh, space. Let's put that there. And these logs, ah, just put them here. I'm just plopping everything down or, or whenever I find space. This has to expand as well. I don't know where. Maybe these drawers can go up, up here. Or I can move them underground as well. There's space everywhere. I don't mind. But yeah, now I have this ZIG machine, as you can see in my inventory, and I've been planning to make this for a while, but if we search for torch, and you see this mega torch, it prevents natural spawning of hostile mon monsters in a big radius. And I need this. It's a ZIG machine and a, and a torch. It just needs that. Uh, so I've been wanting to make this for a while because I'm tired of just using torches as you can see over there and just uh, spawn uh, proving everything with lights and things and things so it is time to make this let's just do it right now I don't know what the radius of this is I hope it's quite a bit does it say anything? Render the big radius around the torch. How big is that area though? Where did I put it? 
Uh, I think I can just put it underneath this, like right there. Will that work? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> there's there's a couple of creepers right there. I I think the radius. I have heard it somewhere before. I don't know where, but I think it is like fifty blocks. It it um, it spawn pros fifty blocks of here over an area. So it not it's not that expensive to to make. Um, I don't mind it. But yeah, now we have spawn proving. You can probably see something has changed about around here. Can you spot the difference? Uh, yes. <laughs> All the items are gone. They're not gone though. That's the trick. They are still there. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> well, I had to use one of these. Uh, it is the concealment key. It is to show or hide item labels. It was getting super, super laggy over here with all the items um, that were showing over here. It had to be like a visual uh, lag or something because every time I turned this way or get close to this area, it it will it would lag. I mean that's what lag it's all about. But yeah, it was a visual uh, lag, and so I had to. To how do I say this? Not regularly make this 
key but sneak it in into uh, in some other way okay yes fine i i i cheated to, to make this key because i tried everything uh, i tried to make it like uh, normally or with crafting recipe as it will it as it is always <laughs> words yes uh so key yeah i was just like click and there was there was no recipe to make this i i searched online how to make it it was like a uh, normal a normal drawer key and an ender ender eye but it did that didn't work so i just had to um to to go create mode and get this concealment key and the only reason why I did do that is because it was getting like a lady in the future we will replace this storage system but it has to stay like this for a bit until we progress with uh, our base and uh, mods that we use uh, so I had to do it also uh, oh, look over here I have decorated the outside of it uh, just some bushes and some grass, some a little, a little bit of path over here, and I removed everything that was over here. As you can see, this is a no not a normal hole. It was I had been creepered. So yes, a creeper exploded over here and took out half of half of these resources that, that were over here. So I recreated everything. Um, so yeah, I, I, I placed everything over here, as you can see, I have, um, uh, what do I have? I have this thing, the spout, <laughs> I have this thing, uh, the miller, yeah, that's the miller. I have this thing, a presser into a basin, uh, the mixer, uh, yeah. And all of this other stuff. Uh, I have a, a presser here as well, so we just put item here, and uh, they press one step, go through the belt. I have like a cooking area with lava, with fire, and with water. As you can, where this I have removed the stuff. Uh, as you can see, I am already using this. It's it's a nice like little workshop uh, thing going on over here. Yeah, uh, I liked it. I had to move to make some adjustments to uh, to transfer the power as well as you can see this thing, this loop right there. Maybe I I can make it like symmetrical and put like just the decoration and all stuff right, right there and the side casing. It would look much better. But yeah, that that's cool. That's nice. So. As you probably saw, I went to the nether and got, gathered a bunch of um, shroom lights because the area is not yet uh, finished with the lighting. I need I need to light all that other area over there. Um, I need to. The torches need to go. Okay, they it, it has been determined by me that the torches are ugly. They are not needed. Actually, they aren't. They are not needed because they already have the mega torch under there, just uh, preventing spawn all over the base. Oh. Yeah.
This place looks so much cleaner now, doesn't it? Look at it. I, it makes me just wanna uh, lay my face next to it and feel. Look at how smooth it looks. Mm, beautiful, clean. What are you doing up there? Whatever. Mm. I know you're there. Okay, I'll turn my back for it, to it for now. And over there, I I didn't have enough. But look at this side. So clean. So, so clean. Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Don't you like my garden? Uh, I put a little work on, into it, but I think it looks good. Uh, it looks great, actually. The path, uh, it is amazing. I'm just, I'm just selling my, my work to everyone. Uh, but yeah, I think it, 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 is, it does look nice. Uh, there's like this warm feeling to it. Mm -hmm. Look at these flowers. I actually bought these leaves into in the market. Uh, where is it? Yeah, this one for 24 silver. It was quite the steal. Uh, it, it looks so great. I just want to stay uh, on into this walk all day. Yeah. So my next step right now is to get this. Um, Sky solution, yeah, and make it into a uh, charged mixer or a redstone bucket, destabilized redstone. So to do that, I need to uh, I need to mix it up with a charged uh, quartz crystal with that violet sky solution and make this sky solution. So I think that is my next task. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if. Uh, these charged things can be recharged. Let me see. It was like, yeah, it it does produce then a sort of quartz crystal or whatever. And I think it said, let me see. In the quest, it said you can recharge. Yes, you can use. What did it say? You can use a charger uh, to recharge the sort of thingy, sort of quartz. The charger, uh, I think, I think it is talking about this one, this charger right here. I don't know if I have this pure Fluix crystal. It seems pretty easy. If this works and recharges the, the crystal, I think this can be um, um, produced infinitely. Or or, or whatever. So I think I'm just gonna uh, do that right now. So to make uh, to make the charger, uh, it seems like I need the Fluix crystal, and just it turns out I have one in my inventory. I don't know how I got it, <laughs> but I'll take it. Uh, so to make a charger, it's quite easy. And the side machine. Okay. Let. Do I have any? I do. So, and the side machine and the fluid crystal to make a charger. As you can see, it looks okay. I mean, let me see, what does it do? Uh, do I need anything to power it or something? Do I have any, uh, any of those crystals, quartz crystals? Yeah, these ones. Let me see. Does this charge it? What is it doing? Still the same. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look into it. Aha! Uh -huh. And I figured it out. As you can see, it is sparkling. And I needed some kind of power. 
right? and RF or ME or whatever it is powering. R RF, yes. Completely correct. So as you can see, it is sparkling, and that means that it, this is charged. You have charged surface, blah, blah, blah. So that means now I have to get one of these, and basically I'm just powering with saplings, so that should be okay for now until I uh, discover this applied energetics, uh, get into this mod, and uh, progress with it. Until then, I have to use this method uh, using this uh, Sterling Dynamo. So I'm glad I figured it out. Uh, I tried uh, first to, to convert the power using this Fluix uh, glass cables to transfer the power, and then I figured out I can just rotate this block. It's uh, I don't have to use these cables. So that was something. They break so quick. Um, that's it. So yeah, now I'm just gonna go over there. So I've got the pipe linked up to this uh, violin vo vo lateral sky solution. Okay, sky, just sky solution, okay? Uh, I got it linked underground because I want to make this a path right here. I don't want to interrupt anything. Into this mixer. Now, this mixer produces this, uh, the, the uncharged quartz crystal. So I want to take those and charge them with this, this thing. So I thought this might be the best way, but now that I think about it again, um, I could just put them on a belt and I don't know if I can, uh, refill this directly from a belt. Uh, I'm going to. I'm gonna find out right now. I'm breaking everything. So, so I have the basic structure done. Uh, now, as you can see, the sky solution will come from underground this pipe into here, and after mixing up, the uncharged circus will go right here into this charger that is right here, and it turns out this works uh, if you funnel it into it then this will filter out the the charged circus the charge um, circus yes course outside and into this belt over here may make a loop and right back into it and loop all over again and the the redstone whatever juice that comes out will go right here it will i need to make a smart fluid uh, pipe it will filter out that uh, only the redstone and we go right this way where i will um, process it even further so all i need to do now is just uh, power all these belts <laughs> which is going to be quite interesting uh, it will i think it will take a bit of a space and I don't know how to do it to do it right now, but I'll figure it out. So let's just get into it. And it is done. I have powered everything. Everything is going in the right way. So you can see that there, this, there, there, there. Uh, this is powered. This is powered. And all I need is to just lob this here and this pipe is power so everything is working right now all i need to do is set the filter here uh but first i need to make the solution first the redstone uh thingy solution and oh actually i have to power this one as well hmm where did i have the power going from here can i just make this into a into a gear gearbox and just go right there or not i actually need hog wheels i could just do this like this and that will work 
is the solution going in or do I this is inset right like this you should have why aren't you going up oh there they are there we go we have solution now and all I need to do is just cover this thing up no one will know there's there it's there so cool now can I just chuck some in that will make uh oh uh uh nope yep I know this will happen what does this do it does nothing I need a bucket of this and let me just filter nope oh I'm making such a mess everywhere um so the filter needs to do this no not that uh it, it does it actually needs the other thing stop you i need the rest on thing let me see now that we built this thing uh this um i don't know what to call it anymore uh, uh destabilized breadstone yeah the maker machine or whatever <laughs> so yeah we built this and uh, as you can see it's complete i added this lever which will turn on and off the machine because i don't want to run in all the time uh, and making the redstone fluid so yeah the the redstone uh, fluid will come out of this pipe and i intend to extend it all the way over there so uh, first of all i need to make this quartz seeds which need sand and quartz dust as it seems and this needs to be uh, crushed into a miller i think it's best and with sand i need to combine it it seems like uh, to make this pure circus uh, quartz crystal and finally make this uh, thing so i it seems like i need to bring that pipe and uh, combine it to make this polished rose quartz yeah um, so i think i'm gonna have to get it there and uh, the pipes all the all the way uh, that wall over there and into some um i don't know just crushing into some millers and then just water pour water on the, onto them to make the pure crystals i need this pipe to go all the way over there to make that rose crystal and um like right over here and yeah i don't know um it seems like i need sand as well to make so it's this place it it is a bit looking bland and i i want to I want to make all the uh, factory fill up. I don't want to leave that spaces around uh, the factory. So this place looks perfect. So it turns out I don't need actually sand to, to make the quartz seed. I need just a mechanical crafter. And if you put a crystal on it, it turns out you'll crush it and make two quartz seeds. To, uh, you have four because I already tested this uh, before. So it will make two quartz seeds and I, I don't need actually sand uh, to make these seeds. So now I just need a funnel and uh, a bunch of these crystals to let I only need just to funnel them into a belt and into some spouts with water to make that uh, pure crystal. And then it just easy mode uh, this turned out easier than i thought um i thought i was gonna get sand all the time 